hitting for sure. And right here, a little closer to home on Earth, we are tracking tropical weather and Boy, Zeta, can you believe that? The 11th named hurricane of 2020. It is at inches from making landfall there at the Yucatan Peninsula. This will be its first landfall. It will likely weaken to a tropical storm, just a brief interaction with land, and then it reemerges as a Category 1 storm into the open waters of the Gulf of Mexico. One of the biggest changes from our last model runs is the speed. Once it hits those warmer waters there in the central Gulf, it will start to move north and pick up a little steam. As it does so, likely now making landfall at around 7 o'clock Wednesday night, southeast Louisiana, making its way on into Hattiesburg, Gulfport, Mississippi, and then right through Alabama Wednesday night into Thursday, and then by Thursday morning it zips right to North Georgia. All right, here's a look at the future cast because tomorrow it's going to be a very mild and warm and quite frankly a humid day. Tropical air masses tend to be a little bit more soupy, meaning that it's muggy, we see the clouds, and there could be some stray showers tomorrow, but I'm only keeping coverage at about 20%. Tomorrow's not the big rain day. Temperatures in most spots will rebound close to 80 degrees. It's Wednesday morning. We'll start to see our first rounds of those outer bands of rain. So 4 a.m., anywhere from Tuscaloosa to Anniston, and then a brief break in the wet weather mid-morning, and then by afternoon, we'll see another round of rain. This time locally heavy spots of wet weather Wednesday night, but the bulk of wet weather arrives early Thursday morning after midnight through sunrise. Look at this. This is that center of circulation there and soaking showers are possible, so we want you to be prepared overnight and with the winds close to that center of circulation is likely where we're going to see any type of spin up storms, and that's why south of I-20, I want you to be prepared, especially for overnight. Be sure to get those weather alerts, whether through a weather the radio or CBS 42 weather app wind speeds upwards of 32 to 35 miles per hour from Greensboro to Anniston. That puts us in this marginal risk for severe storms Wednesday night into Thursday morning, southernmost counties. But remember, there's nothing magical about these lines. We want you to be, kind of be prepared. So I-20 is kind of a marker for me. And then on top of the chance of some spin up tornadoes brief, it's heavy rainfall, so we don't need to forget that there's going to really be two factors here. I think the rainfall is going to be our biggest threat, but this will be fast moving. We could see two to three inches in some spots. And notice this storm moves through Thursday, 6 a.m. It's already in East Alabama. By lunchtime, it's gone. And then a cold front moves in and brings us drier and cooler air as we round out the week. So this is not going to be a long lived rain event for us, but the rain that comes, it could amount in uh, quite a bit of rainfall through Thursday. Clearing Friday, but then temperatures dropping into the 60s for your Halloween and morning lows in the 40s. And don't forget, we fall back one hour Saturday night and Sunday morning.